Hello everybody, welcome back to Dash Yoga. My name is Ashley and I'm gonna be guiding you through a nice yin practice for our Motivational Monday. We're gonna be coming at you every Monday with a nice video to keep you inspired on and off the mat. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position. And you can find cross-legged. Um, you can do full or half lotus. You could sit on a block or a blanket or even roll your mat to allow your pelvis to slightly tilt forwards if you notice your knees are higher than your waistline. I do have a little block here for the practice. You could use some little pillows and blankets from home to make your body as comfortable as you can during yin. Gentle reminders, as we get into each pose, we wanna find stillness in the body, in the mind, and a steadiness and connection through the breath. I'll remind you of that in each pose. So let's begin. You can place the hands, palms facing up or down, closing your eyes, and just starting to focus on your breath. Feel any tension or tightness melt away from your shoulders, your waist, or any other areas. Breathe a little bit deeper and fuller into any spots that do feel tight or tender allowing the pulsation of the breath to swim or move around that space. And as you sit and keep yourself company, maybe just asking what this time represents for you on your mat today. What do you need the most? And maybe turning that into an intention or focus for our time together. Your intention could be keep a connection to your breath or to feel stillness throughout this practice. It could be more specific, inviting in love, admiration, or softness to your body. Know that there's not a right or wrong. Trust wherever you land. I know that that'll be perfect for today. Begin to take the gaze towards the ground. Eyes are gonna come open. We're gonna start in our butterfly position. Soles of the feet touch, knees wide. You can draw your heels a little forwards or closer to the groin, depending what you need. Now, if you do have um, a thin mat, sometimes ankle bones can really dig into the ground. I just put a little blanket under there to keep that cushioned and then starting to fold forwards. You can utilize a block to let your forehead rest on, or again, props. You can let your hands rest, or even take your hands under your ankles as your forehead starts to fold towards the mat or your heels. So today, in this because it's a shorter practice, our sweet spot is going to be around three minutes. Allow the natural curvature of your spine to come in. You might notice your upper body, your heart, your chest, your forehead melts more and more to the earth with every exhale and the longer you're here. You might experience the first few poses a little more challenging to kind of get into this stillness mindset. And that's okay, embrace what your journey is and come into this time and space with no expectations, an open heart, an open mind, just really breathing into the possibilities of the openness and the healing that can come with this practice. Every inhale, feel yourself move into this sensation of expansion Every exhale, tension, worry, stress melts away from the body.
start to come out nice and slow, just unraveling. Find your way back up and extend the legs forwards. Give it a nice little shake. Let that go. And then we're gonna take the right leg open to the side, bringing the left foot in towards the right thigh. Flex your foot. Couple options here. If you want, you can fold over your right leg, maybe grabbing behind, or you can create this into more of a side body stretch through your left side. And how you can do that is bringing the forearm to the ground or even to a blocker pillow. You can rest your hand on the right side of your face. Left hand can come up, you can reach it over, or even grabbing for your foot. This is gonna look a little different for everyone, really opening up. Find that nice side body. You can bring the left hand again up or reach for the bind or fold over your right leg. Three minutes on this side as well. Try to come to a spot where you can close your eyes, focusing on your breath, breathing in and out of your left side body. Good, come back up. Maybe move your torso around a little bit. Sometimes I like to take just a little twist to the left and then we'll switch sides. Left leg opens, right foot in towards the left thigh. And again, same thing, you can fold over your left leg or moving into that side body stretch. Maybe placing your left forearm onto the block of ground or even a rolled blanket. Breathing into the right side, right fingertips can come by the temple, or you can try to grab for big toe or outer edge of the foot. And again, you can use your hand as a resting place for your head. Up to a spot where you can still focus on your breath and really drop into your stillness, resisting the urge to Move to fidget, to wiggle.
good. Inhale, come all the way up. Maybe two, a little twist to the right. And coming back through to center. Great work. Next, finding our fire lock pose. Let's do left leg as the bottom, right leg on top, shins parallel, flex your feet, toes pointing forwards. Try to root down through the right sits bones and the back of your right thigh. If you notice the right knee is super lifted, just fill in those gaps. It's also okay if it's lifted and you're comfortable with it, just staying there. And hinging forwards. Sometimes the elbows onto the legs are great. You can go in front or again, have a little, a little bitty here for your forehead to rest on. Finding a sweet spot. Knowing that if you need to modify or take any other variations, I want you to feel empowered to do so. Always check in with yourself. If you feel resistance, tension, know that that's normal. But if you ever feel any pain in, in any postures, whether it's yin or flow class, especially yin though, please come out. You can take a child's pose or a shavasana even. And just come to somewhere that you can rest, replenish, and maybe trying and revisiting the next pose. No worries. Breathe into the hips, the hamstrings, and any other places that you feel a sensation within your body. How does it feel to observe the sensation without reacting to it, without labeling it good or bad? Inhale, start to come all the way up. Maybe give the legs a little shake where you can just switch sides, right leg bottom, left leg on top, shins parallel, flex your feet. Add in any props that you need. Maybe take a few breaths, lengthen, and then start to fold forwards. And knowing that this side might be a little bit different, can you come in with no judgment, no preconceived notions or expectations on your body. Just being in this place where you're curious and observing.
Beautiful, start to come up nice and slow. Props out of the way, shake out your legs. Let that be. Next, you're gonna come into either child's pose or your puppy dog stretch. So for your child, you can do any variation. Arms forwards, arms back, elbows to the ground, thumbs between the shoulders. Or for your puppy dog starting in your table, walk forwards, drop chin and chest down, keep the seat lifted. You could do a blanket or props underneath your arms if you need. If you start in puppy and you need to come down to child's pose, that's okay, but doing your best to stay wherever you are for the time. We're gonna do two minutes for this one. Focus on your breath. Good, come up nice and slow wherever you are. Maybe just move your body around a smidge and eventually coming onto your backs into your happy baby. This will be the last one before Shavasana. Elevate your legs towards the sky. Bend your knees, hands to the outer edges of your feet. You can always switch to big toe or grabbing along your ankle or calf. Relax your shoulders, the back of the head is heavy. Press the feet out into the hands as you melt your thighs. And observe your thoughts, observe the sensations. And kind of notice how it feels nearing the end of the practice. That stillness becomes a little more familiar in the body and mind.
then slowly let go of the feet, shake everything out, and then you're gonna lower into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Giving yourself these last few moments to be, to be in your stillness, to allow your body that time and space to rest and replenish. Knowing that you can let go of all of the excess, all the roles, the jobs, the masks, the hats that you wear. And it's just you here on the mat. Allow the mat, the earth to hold you as you soften more and more. Start to come back slowly, feel your belly rise and fall. Hear the subtle sounds around you. Maybe feel the temperature dancing on your skin. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch, arms reach back, legs forwards. Inhale and exhale. Roll to the side of your choice. Give yourself a big hug and squeeze and then come to seated hands at your hearts, bowing down and honoring the student, the teacher, the soul that exists within. Feeling into the space that you've created and moving forwards into your day, your week, your month with this freedom and space. Think about what you wanna create with it. Dreaming big and keeping your mind and heart open the guidance, the wisdom, and the lessons that you're learning each and every day to allow these dreams to come true. Thank you for practicing and joining us. We'll see you next time. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for practicing. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, comment if you did it, and let us know what you would like to see from us next time.